and welcome back to F1 News today via the hot lap. So first up, we're talking Eddie Jordan's truthful, truthful Adrian Newey update. So amid reports that Adrian Newey is literally, if you believe it, seconds, many seconds, has already signed, signing tomorrow, signing yesterday to Aston Martin after his Red Bull ex after his Red Bull exit, his manager Eddie Or Eddie Orvin <laughs> Eddie Jordan truthfully he said he does not know which step Adrian Newey will take for F1 2025. Taken on face value, that means he hasn't actually signed yet. So where are all these reports coming from? So Verstappen verdict delivered compared to Red Bull flattery. He, Red Bull does not think Max Verstappen has flattered its RB20 car, um, despite renewed threats from rival teams in 2024. This is something that, to be fair, Christian Horner predicted at the beginning of the year. However, I do feel, take Imola for example, or the Emilio Romagna Grand Prix, I think that was a Verstappen win, definitely not a Red Bull win. I mean, that guy is good. That's something you absolutely can ignore. Now, Kevin Magnussen, on his F1 achievements, he's admitted that it hasn't really met his ambitions. He's conceded that he has failed to match the ambitions he set himself in Formula 1 as he prepares to leave Grand Prix Racing. So that kind of means, no, he's not going to get a seat. Don't really think he was going to get an Alpine seat. But... There we go. But on to his teammate for this year, at least, Kevin Magnussen. The very fantastic, but yet to get a podium, Nico Hulkenberg. And um, he said, I feel I can't, if I, if I feel I can't keep up with young drivers, I'll cut my career short. That's from Nico Hulkenberg, as he's about to embark, embark on a new phase of his career in a works team for at least 2026. 2025 could be a bit painful with Kick Sauber, but he's this is the German guy for the German manufacturer for Audi in 2026 and beyond. I mean, that's not too bad, is it? So, moving on, moving on from that, we've got Fernando Alonso. He reveals um, you know, a daring late career change that made me a better F1 driver. He believes that trying out different series during his sabbatical from the premier class of F1 made his, you know, made his racing better. For example, Le Mans, and IndyCar. Both he tried and both he was, you know, he looked fairly quick. I mean, he was up there in the top five. He won Le Mans, but he was up there in the top five in IndyCar at one point. In the top three, I think, for the Indy 500 on his first attempt. So uniquely, though, Fernando Alonso still motivated like a young driver. I think that's a quote from that's a quote from Flavio Briatore, even. And he says he has no idea how long Fernando Alonso will continue in, in racing, but he likened his motivation to like that of a young driver. Um, now, on to Audi and IndyCar driver Alex Palau, who's racing, actually, as we speak at the time of recording. Um, so he's called these Palau to Audi Formula One rumours as fake following the reports that he is indeed on Audi's F1 radar. But also, Stake have conceded, as in Stake, soon to be Audi, that there's tension after, so far, their pointless season. Stake of one has conceded, you know, they've even used the quote, tension within the team as it continues its preparation for 2026. I'm really, I'm kind of like really, really hoping they do indeed get a couple of points by the end of the year to relieve that pressure. Now, science presents Williams, according to Robson, with a daunting challenge. And that's uh, that's Dave Robson, one of the senior engineers at Williams, because Carlos Sainz is going to be up there, if not better, if not worse, but let's be fair, we are really excited for the battle with Alex Albon. But that's going to make, according to Dave Robson, some very interesting tactics. Um, and it's the first time in a while that Williams will have two very similar drivers. If you remember, before Alex Albon, it was George Russell. For like a good three years. So Hasbos shuts down all this nonsense that uh, Nikita Mazepin, Oliver Behrman comparison. Yes, team boss um, Komatsu, he's shared his thoughts on hiring the team's first rookie since Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. I think he's suggesting quite openly that, no, you can't really compare the two. Red Bull also revealed the main difference 
after the Newey departure. Red Bull technical director Pierre Wachet has explained that the imminent departure of Adrian Newey doesn't change anything, despite the fact that a very successful individual has been lost. Let's see from 25 and 26, if indeed that is the case and Red Bull are suffering now, so to speak, although Adrian Newey is actually still there. He's just not working with the F1 teams. Anyway, if you liked what you see, give us a subscribe, hit that notification button so you, you, you don't miss a video. If you want to keep up to date on all the F1 news, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much. And this is the bit where I press the outro.